Hi everyone! Today in this tutorial I want to demonstrate you how I knit this bag. The bag was knitted by knitting needle. It's very light, capacious and great for summer times and it's very easy to knit. So let's start! We will need 100% cotton cord, diameter is 2 mm. There are 250 meters in one skein. I take one full and one slightly not full skeins. It took about a skein and a half at the most. A needle with white eye, scissors, markers, this knitting needle for support. And for the main work I took this 5.5 mm diameter and 60 cm circular needles. So, let's begin. I will start knitting from the bottom. I take 5.5 mm needle and cast on 32 loops by usual method. To do this, leave about 40 or 50 cm long tail. The long tail of the thread is on my thumb and the working thread is on my index finger. Secure two ends of the thread with your fingers. Insert the needle under the thread like this and hold on by a finger. Then I will go down and around catch that loop on my thumb and then go back and catch the loop on my index finger and I'm going to pull it through the loops that are on my thumb and release and tighten. Here are my first two loops. Continue casting on loops likewise. Three, four, five. Six, seven. There are thirty two loops on my needle. Turn around the knitting. I will knit with the gutter stitch. Now I'm going to knit the first row. We just need to knit into front of the loop in each stitch. This is front of stitch and this is back of stitch. Insert the left needle knitwise so from the front to the back and then I will pick up my working yarn with the left needle. Then pull through the loop and then off the needle. Knit all stitches till the end likewise.
the last stitch also as knitwise. Turn the knitting. Knit the second row. The second row knit up likewise as the first row. All stitches into front of stitches. Knit like that also the third and the fourth rows. I knitted 4 rows in total. From the 5th row, I will make an increase in the beginning and at the end of the row. Firstly, knit 2 stitches. Then make one like this. Look that the working yarn is behind the created stitch. Then knit all stitch till the end while two loops are remained. I got here. Here I will make the increase differently. Here the working yarn is forward the created stitch. Knit last two stitches. Knit the sixth row by the pattern. I knit the first increase into front of stitch. and the second one into back of stitch. I will make increasing through the row and only three times. So I knitted 10 rows. I made increasing three times. Next, I'll knit four more rows by pattern. Look, I knitted 14 rows in total. Now, as I did increases, I will make decreases symmetrically, three times through the row. So, the 15th row. Knit first two loops. Then I'm going to make the first decrease. To do this, next two stitches knit together into the front loop of stitch like this. Then knit all stitch till the end by pattern while four loops are remained. Here are my four stitches. Now I change the direction of these two loops like this and then knit them together through the back loop of stitches. After, knit the last two stitches. The 16th row knit by pattern.
Now, knit other decreases likewise by yourself. I finished the 20th row. All decreases have been done. After decreasing, I have 32 loops in total such in the beginning of the knitting. Next, I'll knit 4 more rows by pattern, because I need to finish my knitting in the way I've started it. So, I finished knitting the bottom, I knitted 24 rows in total, the widest part is 23 cm, the height is 7 cm. Now I am going to cast on loops from the edge. Then, after casting on the right amount of loops, I will switch my knitting to circle knitting. Here, 32 loops. That's why I also have to cast on 32 loops underneath. And I have 24 rows on the sides. I will cast on 22 loops from these sides. In total, Cast on 22 loops from here and the 22 loops from other side and the 32 loops underneath. I will help with the hook myself. This is the easiest method for me. I am inserting my hook through both loops of stitches. For now, I cast on the loops on the supporting needle. In total, we need to have 22 loops. Look, I casted on 22 loops and now I transfer all the loops to working needle. There is a foundation row underneath. I will cast on 32 loops from here.
Dan. Now I also will transfer these loops to the working needle. This is the part that is left. Here we do everything in the same way. Finished. All loops casted on. In total I have 108 loops on my needle. Onward. I will knit in a circular. I will knit with a gutter stitch. In circular knit we need to alternate the right side row and the polar side row for this pattern. This time we reset the count of rows. Place a marker at the beginning of the round. In the beginning it will be harder to knit, but after a few rounds it will be easier. So let's go! The first round. I knit up parallel stitches into the front loop of stitches by a classical method. We knit parallel round in the first round from the beginning till the end. In the second round we will knit up a knit round. Then all we need is alternate one parallel round and one knit round before we are knitted up the needed height. This is what I get. I finished one skein of yarn. I want to show you how I attach the second skein. It's very simple. I leave the end of the previous skein aside. The next loop I will knit with the thread from the new skein. We will hide these ends later. I'll finish knitting the wall of the back here. Next step, 
I will knit the handles. In total, the height of the knit is 27 cm and the width is 35 cm. I transferred all the stitches from the needle to the waste yarn to properly distribute the stitches to the markers. We straighten out our knitting. Then we find the two edge loops. There I put yellow markers. I counted the stitches between the yellow markers. There are exactly 54 stitches. Now find the middle on both sides. I have 54 stitches on one side. So, I put the markers through 27 stitches. Here's the green and the blue markers. There are 27 stitches between the markers. The red marker means the beginning of the round. Now, I'm going to knit the handles of the back. One part where I have the beginning of the round, I transfer to working needle. First, we form one strap. The rest of the stitches are left on the waist yarn. We work separately with each part. I finished knitting of the last round with knit round, and after the marker I should knit up parallel stitches by gutter stitch pattern. But now I am going to change the circular knit to back and forth knit. And when we change knitting from circular to back and forth for gutter stitch, all following rows are knitted by purl stitches. So, we need to knit up these stitches from the edge until the red marker as pearl-wise stitches. And when we'll get to stitches which go after the marker, we'll have one pattern for the row. Here we are starting the first row. I'm going to cast off two stitches in the beginning of the row. To do this, take out the first stitch then purl the second stitch and the pass slip stitch over. Done! Next, purl the next stitch, then take the first one and pull it over the second one. Repeat this step one more time. Then purl till the end. This marker can be removed. The row is finished. I am turning around my knitting. The second row. The second row knit up likewise as the first row. Cast off two stitches in the beginning of the row. Onward, from the third row, I will cast off one stitch at the beginning of the row in each row. So, slip first stitch, purl the next one, then pass slip stitch over. Knit up stitches by pattern till the end. 
The following rows I will need like the third row while I have 8 stitches on my needle. Look, I have 8 stitches on my needle. Slip the first stitch, then parallel till the end, and continue knitting by repeating this step. At this time I knitted 17 rows and the left long tail about 2 meter, because at this moment I didn't know how I will finish the handles, and it was about 14 cm in lengthwise. Then I added 5 rows and finally I had a strap with 21 rows and 16 cm in lengthwise. Then I will knit the second strap. I am going to transfer the next 27 stitches to my needle from waist yarn. Join the thread from here. I will cast off two stitches at the beginning of the row. Slip first stitch. Purl the next one. Then pass slip stitch over. Next, purl the next stitch, then take the first one and pull it over the second one. Repeat this step one more time. Then purl the till the end. The second row. The second row knit up likewise as the first row. Cast off two stitches at the beginning of the row. Continue knitting the second strap in the same way the first strap. So, knit the third and the fourth steps by yourself. Dear friends, most of the work is done. I've already sewn on two straps. I casted off the stitches on this step, 
I will show you how I cast off the stitches and sew on two straps on this side. So let's begin. As I said before, when 8 loops are left, we need 21 rows. That's 16 cm. I decided to close the row first, only then sew the straps together. For me, a grafting for this back is not suitable because you have to take into account the load on the handles when you wear them. So, I am going to cast off the stitches. Slip first one, purl the second one. Then, take the first one and pull it over the second one. Repeat this step till the end of the row. and cut off the yarn and leave about 40 cm for sewing parts. Now I am going to sew these two straps. Take the needle with white eye. I will sew on the both sides, first from the right side and then underneath. Here are two loops of the stitch. At first we need to sew together far loops and then I will sew near loops underneath. Here my thread. First I put it over the edge on that side to secure the thread and I'm beginning sewing. Insert the needle into the far loops of two parts. Then insert into the next loop and then back into the previous loop. I tighten the thread. Now from this side enter the needle in the next and back to the previous loop. The next loop and back to the previous. Continue sewing like that till the end.
Done. Now I take the thread to the other side. On this side, sew exactly in the same way. Sew together the remaining loops. And at this moment the most part of the work is complete. The finished result so far looks like this. There are some tails which need to be hidden. I want to show you how I hide one of them. I will hide the tails on pearl side of the back with the needle with white eye. I am going to try repeat lines of pattern.
and to make sure that the ends don't come out over time, I'll fasten them with thread in turn like this. That's it. Now you can cut off that piece. That's how I hide all the ends. That's all. We have completely finished our crocheting. All that's left is to steam it well. Our bag is ready for wearing. If you liked this tutorial, please press the like and make sure that you hit the bell button, because here are a lot more tutorials to come. If you have any questions, write in the comments below or on my Instagram and TikTok pages. If you haven't signed up yet, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon!